Exodus chapter 39, verse 1 through chapter 40, verse 38. And of the blue and purple and scarlet material, they made woven garments to do service in the set-apart place. And they made the set-apart garments, which were for Aaron, as Yahweh had commanded Moshe. And he made the shoulder garment of gold, of blue and purple and scarlet material, and of fine woven linen. And they beat out sheets of gold and cut it into threads to work it in with the blue and purple and scarlet material and the fine linen, the work of a skilled workman. They made shoulder pieces for it to join it. It was joined at its two edges. And the embroidered band of his shoulder garment that was on it was of the same work of gold and blue and purple and scarlet material and a fine woven linen as Yahweh had commanded Moshe. And they made the Shoham stones set in plated work of gold engraved as signets are engraved according to the names of the sons of Israel. And he put them on the shoulders of the shoulder garment, stones of remembrance for the sons of Israel, as Yahweh had commanded Moshe. And he made the breastplate a work of a skilled workman, like the work of the shoulder garment of gold, of blue, and purple, and scarlet material, and of fine woven linen. It was square. They made the breastplate double, its length a span, its width a span, doubled. And they filled it with four rows of stones. A row of ruby, a topaz, and an emerald was the first row. And the second row, a turquoise, a sapphire, and a diamond. And the third row, a jacinth, an agate, an amethyst, and the fourth row, a beryl, a shoham, and a jasper, set in plated work of gold in their settings. And the stones were according to the names of the sons of Israel, twelve according to their names, engraved like a signet, each one with its own name according to the twelve tribes. And they made braided chains of corded work for the breastplate at the ends of clean gold. And they made two settings of gold and two ring and two gold rings, and put the two rings on the two ends of the breastplate. And they put the two cords of gold in the two rings on the ends of the breastplate. And the two ends of the two cords they fastened in the two settings and put them on the shoulder pieces of the shoulder garment in the front. And they made two rings of gold and put them on the two ends of the breastplate on the edge of it, which was on the inward side of the shoulder garment. And they made two gold rings and put them on the two shoulder pieces underneath the shoulder garment on the front of it close to its seam above the embroidered band of the shoulder garment. And they bound the breastplate by means of its rings to the rings of the shoulder garment with a blue cord so that it would be above the embroidered band of the shoulder garment and that the breastplate would not come loose from the shoulder garment as Yahweh had commanded Moshe. And he made the robe of the shoulder garment of woven work all of blue. And the opening of the robe was in the middle, like the opening in a scaled armor, with a woven binding all around the opening, so that it would not tear. And they made on the hem of the robe pomegranates of blue and purple and scarlet material twined. And they made bells of clean gold, and put the bells between the pomegranates on the hem of the robe all around between the pomegranates, a bell and a pomegranate, a bell and a pomegranate all around the hem of the robe for the service as Yahweh had commanded Moshe. And they made the long shirt of fine linen, the work of a weaver for Aaron and his sons, and a turban of fine linen, and the turban ornaments of fine linen, and short trousers of fine woven linen, and a girdle of fine woven linen with blue and purple and scarlet material, the work of an embroiderer as Yahweh had commanded Moshe. And they made the plate of the set-apart sign of dedication of clean gold, and wrote on it in and wrote on it an inscription like the engraving of a signet, set apartness to Yahweh. And they put on it a blue cord to fasten it above on the turban, as Yahweh had commanded Moshe. And all the work of the dwelling place of the tent of appointment was completed. And the children of Israel did according to all that Yahweh had commanded Moshe, so they did. And they brought the dwelling place to Moshe, the tent and all its furnishings, its hooks, its boards, its bars and its columns, and its sockets, and the covering of ram skins, dyed red, and the covering of fine leather, 
and the veil of the covering, the ark of the witness with its poles, and the lid of atonement, the table and all its utensils, and the showbread, the clean lampstand with its lamps, the lamps to be put in order, and all its utensils, and the oil for light, and the slaughter place of gold, and the anointing oil, and the sweet incense, and the covering for the tent door, the bronze slaughter place, and its bronze grating, its poles and all its utensils, the basin with its stand, the screens of the courtyard, its columns and its sockets, the covering for the courtyard gate, its cords and its pegs, and all the utensils for the service of the dwelling place, for the tent of appointment, the woven garments to do service in the set-apart place, the set-apart garments for Aaron the priest and his son's garments to serve as priest. According to all that Yahweh had commanded Moshe, so the children of Israel did all the work. And Moshe looked over all the work and saw they did it as Yahweh had commanded, so they had done. And Moshe blessed them, and Yahweh spoke to Moshe, saying, On the first day of the new moon you are to raise up the dwelling place of the tent of appointment, and shall put it in the ark of the witness, and screen the ark with a veil. And you shall bring in the table, and arrange what belongs on it, and bring in the lampstand, and, it, and light its lamps. And you shall set the slaughter place of gold for the incense before the ark of the witness, and put up the covering of the door to the dwelling place. And you shall set the slaughter place of the ascending offering before the door of the dwelling place of the tent of appointment and shall set the basin between the tent of appointment and the slaughter place, and shall put water therein. And you shall set up the courtyard all around, and shall place the covering of the courtyard gate, and shall take the anointing oil, and anoint the dwelling place and all that is in it, and shall set it and all its utensils apart, and it shall be set apart. And you shall anoint the slaughter place of the ascending offering and all its utensils, and set the slaughter place apart, and the slaughter place shall be most set apart. And you shall anoint the basin and its stand and set it apart. And you shall bring Aaron and his sons to the door of the tent of appointment and wash them with water. And you shall put the set apart garments on Aaron and anoint him and set him apart to serve as priest to me. And you shall bring his sons and put long shirts on them and shall anoint them as you anointed their father and they shall serve as priest to me. And their anointing shall be for them an everlasting priesthood throughout their generations. And Moshe did according to all that Yahweh had commanded him, so he did. And it came to be in the first new moon of the second year, on the first day of the new moon, that the dwelling place was raised up. And Moshe raised up the dwelling place, and placed its sockets, and set up its boards, and put its bars, and raised up its columns, and spread the tent over the dwelling place, and put the covering of the tent on top of it, as Yahweh had commanded Moshe. And he took the witness, and put it into the ark, and he put the poles through the rings of the ark, and put the lid of atonement on top of the ark, and brought the ark into the dwelling place, and placed the veil of the covering to screen off the ark of the witness, as Yahweh had commanded Moshe. And he put the table in the tent of appointment, on the north side of the dwelling place, outside the veil, and set up the bread in order upon it before Yahweh, as Yahweh had commanded Moshe. And he put the lampstand in the tent of appointment, opposite the table on the south side of the dwelling place, and lit the lamps before Yahweh, as Yahweh had commanded Moshe. And he put the gold slaughter place in the tent of appointment, in front of the veil, and burned sweet incense on it, as Yahweh had commanded Moshe. And he set up the covering to the door of the dwelling place. And he put the slaughter place of ascending offering before the door of the dwelling place of the tent of appointment, and offered upon it the ascending offering and the grain offering, as Yahweh had commanded Moshe. And he put the basin between the tent of appointment and the slaughter place, and put water therein for washing. And Moshe and Aaron and his sons washed their hands and their feet with water from it as they went into the tent of appointment, and as they came near the slaughter place. They would wash as Yahweh had commanded Moshe, and he raised up the courtyard all around the dwelling place and the slaughter place, and placed the covering of the courtyard gate. And Moshe completed the work, and the cloud covered the tent of appointment, and the esteem of Yahweh filled the dwelling place. 
And Moshe was not able to come into the tent of appointment because the cloud dwelt on it. And the esteem of Yahweh filled the dwelling place. And when the cloud was taken up from the, above the dwelling place, the children of Israel went onward in all their journeys. But if the cloud was not taken up, then they did not set out till the day that it was taken up. For the cloud of Yahweh was on the dwelling place by day, and fire was on it by night, before the eyes of all the house of Yisrael in all their journeys.